Hey y'all, I'm back with another story time for that ass. Um, this story is so juicy and so slutty and crazy that I cannot not share this, okay? At first I was kind of like, eh, I don't want people to think I'm a slut. I don't want people thinking I'm just out here fucking in cars like all the time. But I don't care, bitch. Like, there's so many different um, videos uh, on YouTube of girls talking about how they were fucking married men and how they're the side chick, how they've um, had abortions and stuff. So this is, shit is not even so bad. Anywho, this happened four months ago in October, October 7th to be to be exact. Um, I was supposed to be in class that one morning, but me and my boyfriend had planned otherwise, okay? And the thing about my boyfriend was he had no car. Um, red flag number one and and he lived an hour away from me so it was super hard for us to link up and have sex literally we would have to like actually go into mall fitting rooms to fuck or we would fuck in my car because I live with my parents so they weren't having that shit and they didn't know about him and um he lived in almost an hour away from me and you know our schedules never really like made it available for us to like have sex in his house um that often so we barely had sex at his place or my place so anywho i woke up that morning and i was lying to my parents for once saying that i was going to my morning classes but in, in all actuality i was going to go pick up my boyfriend so I meet up with my boyfriend, and we go to this spot that we always used to go to. Um, it was behind at Route 21, but it was like, I live in the country, see? So no one ever, like, went back behind there. No one ever, like, drove behind there. No one even cared. Like, we literally had sex in this one spot for, like, eight months straight. Me and him had started dating in January of last year, and this was October. So we've had sex in that place quite a few times for months now, and I never got caught. No one ever went back there to check on it. No one, no one even that worked at Route 21 even came back out the back door, except for this one day. And just so happened, I was in a rental car because I was I had um, a car accident like a few weeks prior, so I was in a rental car. It wasn't even my car. So this is this makes the story even more juicier. See. So we were both super horny and we were, you know, making out, foreplay and all that shit. And then the FedEx guy comes up and like he he just drives right past us. We park, um, we had parked um a few spaces behind the um back door. So the FedEx man, we're parked right here. The FedEx man's just room past us straight to the Route 21 back door, and he opens the door, delivers a package, and just, he glances at us, but we, he just drives off like nothing get, ever fucking happened. So, at first, I was like, babe, so should we leave since the FedEx guy was just here and he saw us? Like, you think we should leave? He's like, no, babe. What the fuck's the FedEx man gonna do? I mean, he ain't the cops. <laughs> Little did we know that 10 minutes later, as my boyfriend is putting on the condom, and he's about to put it in me. Actually, he did stick it in me. Actually, he put the tip in. This is <laughs> this is how deep this shit got. He had, we had, we had already did foreplay, and he had put the condom on, and he was sticking the tip in, and voila, three fucking cop cars just swarm behind us, like vroom, just swarm behind us, and cop blocked us. Like there was two cops on one side of my car, and then another cop in the back. And oh my God, I run out of the car screaming. I scream and I'm running all in circles and I'm like this, ah, ah, ah. And, and then the cop, one cop, he jumps out of his car and without putting it in park and comes to try to manhandle me and hold me down. And he didn't put his car in park, so his fucking back of his cop car crashes into the nearby wall of the next door. I'm like, oh shit. And I'm crying and I'm like, ah! And then the other cop, the other cop, the, the second cop, he comes by and he's trying to manhandle me too. While um, And then I end up hitting his chest because I was like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm, and I'm hitting his fucking chest. And he's like, bitch, if you hit me one more time, you're under arrest. So that calms me down. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And, and I ended up, I had my phone on me. So I, I was calling my mom. I'm like, mom, I'm about to die. The cops are about to shoot me. Oh. And then, um, 
As, as all this is happening, my boyfriend jumps out of the car like, babe, calm the fuck down. All you got to do is give him your license. We're not doing anything. So uh, he gives the police his license and my license because I was so fucking shook up. And while my mom, I, I was crying on the phone. My mom like, mom, oh, I'm about to die. Uh, uh, I just got stopped by police for no reason. Oh, so my mom's yelling and screaming and um, I happen to accidentally hang up on her and <laughs> And this is fucking crazy. I accidentally hang up on my mom because I was, because the police kept talking to me. He's like, um, he's like, um, are you a, are you on drugs, ma'am? Like, we need to search your car. You're acting like a fucking crackhead. So I hang up the phone with my mom because I was so fucking scared because he kept threatening to arrest me because I was acting like a damn crackhead. So... I hang up my mom and actually throw my my phone like somewhere in my car. I didn't even know where the fuck it was. So he's searching my car and he's like, who does this car belong to? This doesn't even have your name on it. What the hell? Are, did you steal a car? Are y'all trying to rob Routine 21? What the, what the fuck is going on? Y'all better fess up um, or I'm about to arrest your asses. So I told him I was in a car accident. And that this is general, just a rental car, and I do have an actual car, and I show my car insurance, I show my license, my boyfriend shows him his license, and you know, and we were free to go as we thought. See, and um, you know, I actually, I actually, this is crazy. I didn't even have time to put back on my panties. Thank God I had a skirt on because all, all he did was all my boyfriend did. All, he he pulled out, and then like I didn't even have time to put on my panties, so. This is all happening, and like my panties are still in this car. Like, and then he tells us, "Well, y'all can't be have y'all can't be hanging out back here having sex. I know that's what y'all were doing, so y'all need to get out out behind Route 21. This is private property." So we agreed, and he was like, "So you said you were um, in the back seat looking up places to eat at? Where are y'all going?" And um, we told him we're going to the Mexican restaurant right next door because there's a Mexican restaurant that me and him would always go to to get like half off margaritas, and it was Margarita Day that day. So we're like, oh, we were just going to go to the uh, Mexican restaurant across the street. I mean, we weren't going to do anything, sir. And then he's like, oh, you know, we didn't find any drugs, so you're free to go. You know, y'all have fun. So anyway, they follow us out, but I didn't think anything of it because, you know, a lot of times when you just get, you know, a lot, I've seen this, you know, a lot of times they follow you out. I mean, I, this, but this is the first time I've ever been stopped by the police. So this is why I was probably freaking out so bad. This is, I never had a traffic ticket. I had never had a speeding ticket. I ain't never been stopped by the cops until this time. But anyway, he follows us out. I was driving and we go straight to the Mexican restaurant and they were following us, but then they turn like they're about to go somewhere else. But lo, but lo and behold, as we got seated and we were ordering our margaritas, three of those motherfuckers came back in the parking lot. They literally parked like right next to the window where we were eating at. So I saw them um, parking and then they were outside talking and looking at notes. And I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. They're about to fucking arrest us. They, they realized that since I was running away from him and I was hitting him and that he crashed his car, that they're probably going to take us to jail. And my boyfriend was like, babe, calm down. You know, it's not your fault that he, he hit his car. You know, he was just a dumbass. He didn't put his car in park, you know, um, calm, calm down. But no, the, these cops were out, outside, They and they parked right next to my car. That's the crazy thing, too. Them motherfuckers parked, like, a space over from my car. So it was so close to my car, and they were looking at us through the damn window. They were looking at us drinking alcohol. They were looking at us eating, and I'm like, oh, shit. And they were looking at notes, too. While they were, they were, like, looking at notes and looking at us, like, looking at notes, looking at us. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I call my mom in the middle, middle of my lunch. And I'm like, oh my God, they're following us, mom. The cops followed us. The cops followed us. And she's like, what? Us? Who are you with? And I'm like, oh, I'm on a date. And she's like, who? You, since when did you have a boyfriend? Because they didn't know shit about my boyfriend. They, like, I hid this, my boyfriend for like nine months. And... And I'm like, well, help me, help me, mama, help me. And she comes by and, um, and by the time my mom actually gets to the restaurant, <laughs> the cops, they get a table on the other side of the restaurant. They didn't say anything to us. Like they just, they didn't act like we were in the restaurant or anything. So I'm like, uh, maybe we're not under arrest, but, at, but my mom ended up coming anyway and meeting my boyfriend for the first time. And <laughs> it was the most embarrassing shit. My mom actually picked me up. My mom actually picked me up and made me leave my car at the Mexican restaurant. So I kind of ditched my date. And that's how my parents met him for the first time. 
And, you know, I almost got arrested, y'all. So, please, don't be fucking in the backseat of a car. Don't be fucking in the mall fitting room. There are so many times we had public sex. Like, we would have sex, sex in mall fitting rooms. We would have sex um, in the movie theater. <laughs> we would have sex outside. Like, it was crazy. We, we would fuck so many odd places, and we had never got caught until that day. Okay? And literally, I can I, I don't think I would ever want to have sex outside or in a car anytime soon, like ever in life. Like I've I haven't had sex out um, in a car since then. I just can't do it anymore, y'all. Like if you have a boyfriend, please don't let him pressure you to do any shit like this. Please get a man that's okay with uh buying. If he can't have if y'all can't have sex in this place, at least get a guy who's okay with paying a hotel room for a night just for y'all can have a special night. It's not worth it. You can literally go to jail. You can get shot. I feel like if my boyfriend wasn't white and he was a black guy, that they he the cops probably would have shot both of us honestly because he was reaching for his gun. They, they thought I was on drugs. They had to hold me down. They kept uh, threatening to arrest us. Like, my boyfriend, he was really calm. And, yeah, he was just like, oh, well, Olivia, she's she's just really um, a good to get two shoes. With, like, she has anxiety. She's just having a panic attack. Please let her go. I feel like if it wasn't for him being a calm dude, like, um, I would have probably gotten arrested or shot. And y'all probably would have never heard about my funny ass. So <laughs> that's the end of that story time. I hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all later.